Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is 10 uses of flashcards for students. So each of these methods will work for whatever type of flashcards you have, whether they are the regular coloured version, sticky notes or even just pieces of paper. I will be using an example for each of these different types of flashcards to make sure that everything will work for whatever type you use yourself. And now let's get on with the video! So use number one is a very traditional flashcard use, having a term on one side of the page and the definition on the other. For example, here are some flashcard examples I made for a computer science class. Personally, I like to use more than one definition on the page just to make use of paper, but of course you can limit this to just one term per flashcard. Use number two is questions and answers. This is especially helpful if you have past exam papers available in whatever subject it is you're studying. So on one side of the flashcard you ask a simple question, such as what are the main elements in air, and on the other side you put your answer. It's straightforward and a really quick way to study for exams. Use number three are multiple choice questions with your options on one side and the answer on the other. For example, here are some questions I made for an exam with four possible options and the answer on the back. Option number four are true and false questions. This is fairly self-explanatory. You have a question on the front asking true or false and you put the answer on the back. However, it is also helpful to further explain why an answer is true or false, as well as include any learning devices such as mnemonics that you might have learned to remember these answers. Use number five are creating summaries of your notes. This is super helpful when it comes to exam season, because you don't want to be dragging around these huge textbooks or notebooks with you whenever you want to study. Personally, I prefer to use one side of the flashcard and I include the writing or paragraph notes on the left hand side of the flashcard along with a diagram on the right. Of course, another way of doing this is to have just the writing on the front and then put the diagrams on the back, but I prefer to combine these together to get the most out of my studying. I also prefer to use white background flashcards for this so I can focus solely on the notes. Use number six is for essays. This is a super helpful thing that I found when it comes to planning essays and it works especially well with smaller flashcards or even sticky notes. So you write your essay question at the top of the sticky note or flashcard and then you plan it out either directly below it using just one side or using two sides of separate flashcards which I will show next. It's also super helpful when it comes to rearranging paragraphs as it's very difficult to move writing when it's on one page, but this way allows you to easily maneuver paragraph by paragraph to plan your essay fully. Flashcard use number seven is for diagrams. This is incredibly helpful when it comes to subjects such as geography that has a lot of visual learning. So you can have one drawing with the labels on one side of the flashcard, such as with these two examples, but another way of using them is to have a diagram and labels on one side and then further explain those labels on the back of the flashcard. Use number eight is for all of you math and science students and that is equations. I find it super helpful to show an equation on one side of a flashcard and then give an example question on the back because this is the type of learning that you can only do by physically working out problems. So here's a quick example using the quadratic formula with a quick question on the back as well as the steps you need to go through to solve it. Use number nine is for all my fellow visual learners, and that is pictures. These can be funny or weird or whatever works best for you. So for example, here's how I used to remember the first few elements of the periodic table. It was a picture of a man beneath a pile of clothes, and below it was, here he lies beneath bedclothes. 
Then on the back of the flashcard, I would have the explanation with each of the first letters for here he lies beneath bedclothes corresponding to the first few letters of the element. However, the point is that the picture should jog my memory and hopefully I would never have to turn to the back of the flashcard. And finally, use number 10 of flashcards is for vocab. This is particularly important for language learners and there are two different ways that I'm going to show you how you can use flashcards to learn new vocab. The first use is similar to the original term and definition. You give the word in your foreign language, in this case German, and then you give its your native language equivalent on the back of the flashcard. So for example, die Tua means the door. The second way of doing this is also for visual learners, is that you draw the image of the word you're trying to learn, for example a table or a pen, and then on the back of the flashcard you write it in your target language. You can also give the English definition if you have not yet used these words, but it is a quick way of trying to jog your memory. So here is a quick overview of each of the 10 uses. The first one is term and definition. Use number two is question and answer. Use number three is for multiple choice questions with their answers. Use number four is true or false questions and of course the answer on the back again. Use number five is note summaries before exams. Use number six is for planning essays or just organizing paragraph structures. Use number seven is different diagrams with possible explanations on the back. Use number eight is for equations for maths and science along with examples on the back. Use number nine is pictures for visually learning different definitions. And use number 10 is for language learners two different ways of learning vocab. So that is it for this week's video, I hope you liked and enjoyed, please subscribe and comment any further ideas you have below, I update new videos every two weeks, see you next time.